All right, welcome to Old Boney Mountain Hot Sauce Grotto's Tasting Notes, where on Wednesdays at 5 p.m. we get to try great hot sauces from around the world. I'm Jeff. I'm Shonda, and we're with Old Boney Mountain Foundation for Kids, where we're investing in the future of local youth who are striving to overcome hardships and become inspired adults. So we're here for our cause, and we are here to support the international hot sauce community. That's right, and this is our first show of the year. We took a little break a little winter break <laughs> winter, yeah, a couple couple months probably and, and now we're back and we're ready to go i want to give a little shout out hype to our new uh you know opening january 1st of this year is our new hot sauce uh hot summer night year and uh that means we're open for business and you guys get to just you know come in and and send in all your in, enter your sauces into the competition uh it's going to be a great one this year I wanted to wear my my Grim Reaper hat uh, from my buddy Russell from England, who says he's entering this year again. Uh, one of the one of the best, um, not just hot sauce makers, but spicy foods, snacks, kind of everything um, maker. Look him up online; he's he's just fantastic. Uh, I also got my oh good Rivera's hot sauce shirt. <laughs> He's uh, our buddy from New Jersey who uh, continually is at the top of his game in the barbecue sauce arena, but he makes some fantastic hot sauces that have been winners as well in our competition over the years. And this is the seventh annual Old Boney Mountain Hot Summer Night competition. And we welcome hot sauce companies to, to enter. It's international. It's uh, to find the best hot sauces and spicy mustards and barbecue sauces in the world. And if you're new or if maybe you forgot where to find how to enter your sauce, you just oh, excuse me, you just go to oldbonymountain.org and you'll see it right there. Yeah, there's a banner. You just click it and you'll be right into the registration. And it's only 75 bucks. 75 bucks, yeah. 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 So and it's all for a good cost. So it's great cost. <laughs> great cost. All right. Um, another little announcement that we had was uh, we're gonna be hosting a show called Fresh Batch, Old Bonnie's Fresh Batch. Um, as most of you know, we are here for the hot sauce industry and for hot sauce companies. And what we're going to do with Fresh Batch is we're going to introduce new sauces to the market. Whether you're a, a company that's been around for a while or you're a new company, we want to just talk about your sauce. So um, I'll give you an example. Craig Sauce, who makes just some amazing sauces, they actually had some new stuff. And, uh, and so I obtained a couple bottles of it, Brian Burrow's curry sauce and Mill City Red. So we're going to feature these on the show. Uh, so I don't, I don't stay know when, tuned for that one. I don't know when you'll, we're going to start. Yeah, well, you'll see. You'll see. We'll start putting announcements out through our website, through our social media. And if you are a new sauce company or if you're an existing company with a new sauce, Feel free to enter it and maybe it'll be featured. We'll see. Yeah, yeah you can you, you can enter it. But, you, you know, if you just have a new sauce and you've entered before in our competition, send it to us. Send us a bottle. You know, we're here for you. We want to make you successful. <laughs> make you known. So that will be coming up soon. We're excited about that one. Yeah. A little different than what we're doing here. Um, But uh, going back into the competition, I think there was another another mention that you that you had. Uh, the competition, you mean Heat from the Hammer? This one? Okay. Um, so so Heat from the Hammer is a is an outstanding company from Canada. Yep. Hey. <laughs> they uh, sent me a challenge, basically. They said, hey, you know, uh, you've tried these before. They sent us a, a few of these last year. Um, they have these, uh, this is Armageddon Unleashed Hot Cheese. If you don't know what Armageddon is, it's a reference to Armageddon pepper. And it was one of the first hot peppers, super hot peppers around. And it's a great name. So so they uh, coated their cheese, hot cheese bites in uh, the Armageddon pepper sauce. Yeah. And so these cheese bites, because um, I do remember tasting them last year and I really enjoyed them. It's They're like baked cheese bites. So they're crispy. They're crunchy. If you're looking for an alternative to like a potato chip or something to snack on and you want it to be, you need like that crunch, these are really good. And so they have them in a few different heat levels. Yeah, so they got that one, which is hotter, and then they've got the fiery cheese bites, which is still spicy. And then they actually have the Battlefield Trail Mix, which is a mixture of a bunch of nuts and uh, things. Um, so I, I feel like I got to try 
So um, do you want to try yeah, some? Yeah. Not, we're here. Yeah, let's do it. So what do you want to try <laughs> first? Armageddon. Oh, Armageddon. I haven't had those yet. All right, let's do that. Easy tear off seal. Like Ontario. One of the things, here you go. Here you take one. One of the things I wanted to mention was their challenge was, can we allow new yes. divisions? You know, things that people want to enter in a division, like we have mild, medium, hot, extra hot, fruit-based, barbecue, spicy mustard. They asked, hey, can we can we add divisions for things that are like this? And so <laughs> my answer is yes. I'm a little behind on the technology piece. So what you have to do, if you're going to enter a different division of your making up, then make up your division, enter your hot sauces as normal. And then as you enter, um, say this, I would like entered in this new division. And then it's gonna be a $75 to enter as a new division, but here's what you get for the 75 bucks. You get, you get the uh, opportunity to be in the competition. If you get 10 in that same category that enter, then we'll do trophies. If we don't get 10, we're still gonna judge them uh, and we're still gonna give out ribbons, uh, but we just won't get the, uh, the trophies um, in that for that division. And uh, the other thing is we usually have anywhere from 10 to 20 judges for every sauce we do, mild through extra hot air. Obviously it takes a lot of coordination to do that and a lot of time. Uh, so in the, in the divisions that you add, you're not gonna get 10 to 20 judges. You're probably gonna get more like three. So that's kind of like the concession we need to make in order to uh, still run this voluntarily and make money for the foundation. So let me try this Armageddon. I know I've been crunching on them. I don't know if you can pick it up in the microphone, but they're nice and crispy, crunchy. Mm. So um, I like. Mm. I know mm. it, it does. It does kick up the heat from these yep. ones. These ones are like if you were to. These are fantastic. I would say these have like a medium spice to it, where these definitely kick up, and it, it actually says it perfectly on the back. We've updated. Um, our heat from above fiery cheese bites with Armageddon pepper sauce. This is a hotter version of the original and it hits slowly with a nice climbing heat that lingers. Mm -hmm. I totally, that's great. Kind of nailed it. Yeah. It also says, as one of our community projects, we're donating 50 cents from every bag we sell to the Canadian Warplane Heritage Museum to go towards ensuring that the Lancaster and uh, other historical aircrafts remain airworthy. Love it. Awesome. Yeah, you know, I don't know if you know, but my... My family comes from a, a history of flying. Mm -hmm. My father was in the you Marine almost, Corps. You almost were flying. I almost was flying. Mm -hmm. I was flying. What are you talking about? Well, I got my, my license. Yeah, I'm a, you're not now. <laughs> oh, right. Right. Well, it costs a lot of money to fly. Yeah. So. <laughs> but uh, I did get my license when I was 18 as well. My dad flew in Vietnam, helicopters, and and then he flew for an uh, uh, airline for a long time. And so... Uh, Anyways, all right. Cheers for heat heat from the hand yeah, on this. Are These awesome. are amazing. If you're like me and what I do, like when I'm making an omelet or something, I burn the cheese to while I'm making the omelet because it tastes so good. Mm -hmm. So if you're like me and you know that flavor, um, this has that flavor. They're in crunchy bites, and if you are addicted to heat, these are amazing. Yeah, great snack. Good job. And if you guys have any kind of health conscious or dietary avenues that you're taking, uh, these would be keto friendly, in case you were wondering. Well, I was reading the back. I happen to be on another diet this year, <laughs> so these can be a staple. <laughs> um, let's try the Battlefield Trail mix, too. All right, let's do it. All right, so I'll read it in a second. But Ooh, it's got like fruits and nuts and seeds. Oh, look at that. Mm. I think a, is that a strawberry? Mm -hmm. Wow. I don't know if you can see that. I think it said strawberries and apples. This beautiful little trail mix. Yeah, Battlefield Trail Mix is the perfect blend of perfect. wheat, fruit, spicy peanuts, and sunflower seeds, creating the ultimate healthy snack. Hmm. Apples, pears, peanuts, sunflower seeds, strawberries, pumpkin seeds, uh, Thai red chilies, finger chilies, scotch bonnet peppers, tomato paste, honey, garlic, salt, 
Um, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's a good snack too. Okay, these are going to be addicting. Mm -hmm. They're healthy and addicting. And it has, I heard you say Scotch bonnet peppers, mm -hmm. which are my favorite peppers, mm -hmm. by the way. Yum. Pretty mild. Mm -hmm. Doesn't carry a lot of heat. Very good. Mm hmm Real I healthy. love the sweet and the salty. Mm hmm I'm not getting a lot of salt. That's kind of good because I don't want a lot of salt. <laughs> Let's see what it says. Does it say? Did it say something? Uh, I can't. I can't. My eyes aren't good enough. What are you looking pick for? Up. Just the sodium level. Oh. <laughs> well, there's. I think there's a lot. There's no added sodium. Okay. Zero milligrams. So. Yeah. So there's no salt. Well, I get saltiness. I don't know. Because <laughs> you want to. No, it says salt. At the very end, so there, okay. it's, it's just low. That's just all. so so little. Yeah. All right. It's very well, good. Oh, well, okay. So good. Okay. One more thing. These are the more mellow, fiery cheese bites, and I think they're very similar to Armageddon. Mm -hmm. Except they're just for, a little more mild. Just a little more mild. And these were the ones that we had last year. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah, those are good. You just want to snack on them. You already know what they taste like. Yeah. <laughs> cool little pouches. Mm -hmm. A decent amount inside of them, you know, more than a snack. Mm -hmm. These are real good. Mm -hmm. If you aren't a heat person, these are great for you. Um, there is spice. There is some heat. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. But I love the extra heat, so... The other thing that I noticed, be my. and I don't know if it's just the way that they're packaged or um, the way that they bake them, but sometimes with these crunchy snacks, you get like all the little crumblies at the bottom and you only get like three pieces that are actually a bite size. But these ones, they have the whole bags pretty much all the big crunchy pieces. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. They're not small. Let's see mm -mm. if I can pick up anything else here. Hmm. Well, heat yeah. from the hammer, I don't know, but uh, you're doing something right. I hope that you can get something going with everybody relative to some spicy snack categories this year in the divisions yep. um, or or whatever. Uh, excellent job. Thank you for sending them. Thank you for your inspiration and thank you for your excitement yes. around uh, our competition and our cause. Yeah. All right. So. Next. Let's eat some hot sauce. Yes. So we are tasting today with some harvest omelets from none other than Country Harvest. We're local, man. We're yeah. local. Check this out. Okay, this is a Country Harvest omelet sliced. Yeah. So half. it's got cheese, <laughs> potatoes, bacon, uh, green Ortega chilies. It's kind of like just that, almost more like a classic omelet with a little more to it. So this is awesome. <laughs> I mean, they, they, you know, this country harvest is a local, they have several of them around here, but they're local. They make these um, oversized meals that are good for several meals <laughs> at a reasonable price. And uh, they're, they're just good people. They're very um, community oriented. They, they actually sell my sauces at their store and they, they have them on the tables. So if you want to go try them out, go try them out. Mm -hmm. Yep. Support that uh, high school, support local causes. They're great. Yeah. So Yeah, excellent. And they're locals. I mean, they're like um, generationally local. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I'm thinking that maybe we do this one with two sauces this time, or do you want to go for four because of time? Four. Okay. <laughs> we'll get the grab bag out. We just won't go oh. too crazy. Got a whole bunch in here. Oh, yeah. If you don't remember, these hot sauces are from last year's event, 2023. Mm -hmm. If you're entering this year, 2024, yeah. then you'll be in next year in 2024's batch of grab bag. All right. Give me these sauces. All right. Grab one. All right. Oh, oh Mythos Loki. Oh, oh Mythos. Oh, you know what? It's so funny that, I mean, total. Look. Tons of unluck. They just entered the competition. Look on yeah, look on our did. Instagram. They, look at Facebook. 
and look Facebook Jeff Losey, and you will see Mythos just entered. All right, and we got cacti, cactus and lime. Ooh, from uh, Sue Slayer. Oh, up. Sue Slayer. Wow. We got some, some verdes going Yeah, there. let's see if we can make all four verdes. Right? That'd be awesome. Oh, uh, nope, but that's what it is, <laughs> oh, though. Infinity. Is infinity. Oh. I think we know how I feel about that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mr. Kessler. All right, and last but not least, we have... Uh, the Bib and Bob Pike. Ooh, yeah, okay, that'll be unique. Heat with the you can handle, I'm excited about that. Heat you can handle, hike sauce. All right, so if they're from Washington or Illinois, we'll find out pretty soon. Man, I can't tell you how excited I am to do this. I know, it's been like I know, months. it's crazy. Okay, shut the door. What do you think? All right. Oh, and our studio is going to undergo some changes too. Yes. Starting probably tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> see if you see the sign in the back here. Um, we usually will put up our hot summer night sign for when we're doing a competition and getting sauces in. But I'm running out of room in the studio for hot sauces. <laughs> so I'm going to make that whole back there more uh, shelves for hot sauces. So you'll see probably the next time, maybe. New shelves mm -hmm. in our studio, and we're going to start. Uh, we're, we'll get some signage in for uh, fresh batch, the new show, mm -hmm. and tasting notes and stuff like that. But uh, that's going to happen. All right. Wait, you got think? it? Is this right? Is that Would right? Off anything? See. It's hard to tell. Who's there? You can handle mythos. Barrel of ghost monkeys. Um, you know what? I get the feel myself that there's going to be pretty mellow. Yeah, I think the and first so, three are going to be like very, very. I similar. think I think we're going to hit between uh, mild and medium, maybe even on all of them. Although ghost monkey is ghost. You can go to yeah, ghost but, monkey can go to hot. Yeah. All right, so let's all take right. a look at them. All right, so. Soothe Slayer Hot Sauce. This is the Cacti Cactus and Lime, which is very unique. All right, let's start with the other side. Oh, I always do that, don't I? <laughs> All right, Infinity, longtime supporter. Barrel of Ghost Monkeys. This one, I think he did a label change a while back, right? I think it was just called Ghost Monkey. Oh no, he has several different. Oh, ones. that's right. There, they have the little variations yeah. Yeah, yeah. between the the yes. pepper or the. Yeah. Um, the fruit he's always it. got these cool little animals on him. Like yeah. usually he does dinosaurs, but this is barrel of ghost monkeys, so he's got the ghost monkey. Well, he also has like hash squash and or hatch squash, which is a, uh, it's like sasquatch. Mm -hmm. So he'll True. do. He's got all kinds of little play on. Yeah, on words. real good guy. We just did his uh, Orange County show mm -hmm. at an amazing brewery called Everywhere Brewery, mm. and they actually have uh, have brews everywhere. So everywhere, we, yeah. We went to here locally, at Newbury Park, to Bottles and Pints, and they had it in their selections. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is all looking mm -hmm. really good. Those. Get those. That is the Loki. Loki. Right? Yeah. All right, and then the heat you can handle bibimbap. Bibimbap is going to be very unique with the omelet. Mm -hmm. Kind of has that like Asian flair to it, or Ooh, Ooh, yeah. that one? <laughs> oh, we got to put it on the omelet. Yeah, you know? I'm telling you, this all of these the textures just look so great. They're different each one, but they look great. And then Soothsayer. Soothsayer, amazing company. Great labels. Yeah. Cacti on there. <laughs> yep. Another great pour. All right. Let's yeah. see what we got here. Soothsayer. Check out their label. We got some great labels here. Um, and the sauces look just fantastic. Colorful. Whatever. Wanna, it is. I was going to say, I want to bring that. Yeah. Okay. Different consistencies. It looks like 
your infinity is like a very smooth sauce that's going to be on the the bottom of the burrito floor. <laughs> <laughs> um, the mythos has a little more of that like kind of chunky like little bits in it. The bibimbap is a thicker sauce, so mm-hmm. very smooth. And then the soothsayer is ooh, probably a little thicker than what the mythos is but otherwise similar in the consistency. Excellent. There we go. <laughs> we hope you guys are all back this year too. I know I know that Mythos is in and uh, hopefully the rest <laughs> of One it. down, three to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. All right, let's do it. What's it say? Ingredients on the soups there. Give my pen over there. Also, oh. I noticed that my eyes are finally starting to go. <laughs> all right, let's talk okay. about this. So Serrano pepper. Cactus, tomatillo, onion, garlic, lime juice, distilled white vinegar, water, salt, and lime zest. Oh, perfect. Sounds great. Serranos are one of my favorite peppers, too, mm-hmm. for a mellow pepper, you know? Tomatillo, yeah. They're fun. really great in uh, salsas and stuff, too. Yeah. I just made a... a uh, I'll just do it first. You haven't seen this yet, but we made a, mm-hmm. um, a relish with serranos and jalapeno downstairs. Smell that. Out of studio. Yeah. Oh, yeah, nice and fresh. Oh yeah, that smells so good. Zesty, really zesty, fruity. Yeah. Oh, can't wait. Great aroma. That has a little more Great consistency. You see in the you see the the seeds. Yeah. And um that had a little more punch to it than what I expected. Oh yeah? Yeah. That's that serrano. <laughs> yeah. Serrano instead of jalapeno. Yeah. Serranos are a little bit more. Uh, um, but this is the kind of verde salt, like that tomatillo, the garlic, mm. the lime. That's what I love about a verde. Just that thing. Sure is good. It really absorbs into my omelet. So I would say pour, douse it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I agree. Um, I mean, this omelet has potato in it, so mm. that would explain it. But, mm. but you're not losing that little punch from the serrano. I can tell it's you, it's good. Yeah, it's good on omelets. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's really good. It's mm-hmm. a it's a real refreshing sauce. Mm-hmm. You're not going to be disappointed with it. It's well balanced yeah. with the the lime, the garlic, the pepper, the um, I, that's that's a good solid verde. It's interesting because the I'm wondering if this is called cacti. Yeah, cacti. It's got cactus in it. I'm wondering if the cactus is part of that little like refresh punch that you get. I I don't know because I really can't say I've had a cactus sauce. Um, I've never had a cactus sauce. I've had really cactus. Not knowingly, yeah. and it's just it's kind it's very like watery and kind of. Like what well, I don't know how yeah. to say watery, you know. Yeah. But um, it, this isn't. This is a great flavor. The mixture, yeah. the combination is just amazing. Yes. Well done, Soothsayer. Thank you for entering the competition. Mm-hmm. Let's try this one. Okay. What do we got here? Bibimbap. Bibimbap. Okay. He, you can handle. handle. Which is the they they do a cool label just yeah, yeah. by simplifying H by CH. For okay. some reason, I think I was looking at stuff and they may have a, additional labels this year i'm not sure they haven't entered this year but i always keep looking and i for some reason I, something strikes me that they, they're doing something else but we'll see um yeah okay so ingredients we've got water non-gmo sunflower oil sugar tamari which is like soybeans anchovy spices sesame oil garlic rice vinegar lime puree yeah all right so the two things that popped out to me there or the garlic and the anchovy. Yeah, and I mean the sauce all together. There's a lot going on with the flavor. Yeah. And um, real, real interested to see what this I, is. I've probably only had one or two other ribbon box. Um, yeah, there's the underwood. Yeah, underwood that one that they entered. Yeah, that's very good. Um, yeah, I can smell. I really can't wait to try this. Um, I think it's going to be amazing on that omelet. I get like a little hint of the soybean, the fish sauce, the um, 
with maybe the anchovy. Yeah. Um good aroma. Yeah, it definitely smells like it has that little like Korean pepper paste. Yeah, not over the hint. top, not over the top on anything mm -hmm. relative to overwhelming. Wow. That's a thick sauce. Mm -hmm. Let me try it on the omelet. I'm curious. Very mild. Yeah. Um, good flavor. Well, the color is amazing too. Color is just bright and shiny. Let's yeah. See. I think it's gonna be Silky. really good on this omelet. You know what I think of when I taste it? It it pairs well with the potato. Um, I mean everything does, I guess, but <laughs> <laughs> um I actually think that I know this is conflicting for um uh origin, but I would really love to dip a spring roll into that mm. over peanut sauce. That's a great idea. Um also maybe sushi. Um it's a it's like a mixture that would complement sushi, I think, too. Um Let's see. What else can I pick up here? I I'm, do it with a stir fry. Um, put it on some like beef. If you did like a Korean style beef with rice or something, mm -hmm. yeah, that'd be really good. All right, my eyes are failing me. I, <laughs> what are you looking for? <laughs> just kind of trying to see. I don't know why I can't remember whether it's Washington or Oregon. Oh, I'm thinking it's. Probably Oregon, but I don't I don't see it. Uh yeah, Salem, Oregon. Okay. I'm flying into Salem, Oregon in like two months. I didn't know that. Yeah. Sorry, that was just a lot. That's for awesome. Me. That's right. I didn't know that because <laughs> you're talking about Salem. Yeah. Kristen was talking about Making the witch. Jokes about uh, the witch hunts. Yeah. You're not Salem, it's Oregon. Not Salem, yeah. Oregon. Yeah, but um, I will be flying into Salem. That's really funny. Uh, awesome. Well, hello in a few months. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can look at the handle and see where they're sold at. Yeah. So um let's see. Before you can cook or before you cook, while you cook, and after you cook. Poultry, eggs, meat, veggies, and more. Tacos, stir fries, wings, noodle bowls. Oh yeah, noodle bowls. Marinades, bloody marys, to name a few. That sounds All great. Right on. All right. That was good. Um, I think that they're both mild. Yeah, but I think that, that the one was a little there heater. might be a little hotter. Heater. A little heater. <laughs> heater. A little heater. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Okay. Mitos, Loki. Check Mitos out. I was just doing it because they just entered. So they have a bunch of different sauces and they have a bunch of different cool uh, names, you know, obviously sparked by the Greek gods mm -hmm. and things like that. Yeah, so it actually says Loki is known as many things, but chief among them is the shapeshifter. Fittingly, this jalapeno and garlic so hot sauce will turn any food you desire into an even more delectable version of itself. Try it on breakfast burritos, beef roasts, or really anything else you can think of and see what sort of spice Loki can add to your life. Well, we're going to try it on an omelet. Yeah. So and this one says distilled vinegar, jalapeno peppers, cider vinegar, salt, and garlic. Very simple, okay. very common. Probably one of the most common you can keep sauces going. that there are uh, relative to, you know, the jalapeno and garlic. Classic. You know, what, what more do you need? Yep, I can smell the jalapeno. Good tang to it. Yes, great, I love them. Great flavor. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the thing about this is, this is the first time we get to see these sauces because we only see them like this in the competition. Yeah. They're blind competition. Mm -hmm. We see something like that, that's all we see. We don't, we can't match the sauce with the bottle. And so by mm -hmm. doing this, we get to that's what makes it so exciting we yep. get to see the face behind the sauce and um, this is that sauce that they said put it in a breakfast burrito mm -hmm. and i say if you put this in a breakfast burrito it's one of those sauces that will not only give you a layer on top it'll soak down yeah so as you eat your breakfast burrito and you get to the bottom the bottom is going to be the best bite because it's going to be soaked <laughs> with this stuff yeah that vinegar cuts through the cheese and the potato, a little bit of jalapeno. Mm. Mm -hmm. Again, 
very refreshing. It's a mild sauce, very refreshing. Yeah. I think it might go a smidge below soothsayer. Mm -hmm. I, I get a little bit more of the like um, jalapeno on like the tip of my tongue. Kind of leaves a little lingering heat, but um, if but that, not as obvious as the soothsayer's heat. I would yeah, say. If you're looking for some mild birdies, but you can't go wrong with either yeah. of these ones. Yeah, those are great. Yeah. Good stuff. All right, our friend. Okay, so down Infinity. south. Infinity. Infinity sauces, Vera Ghost Monkeys. So the other thing to look out for is if you go to his website, you'll see that he has limited releases and he'll have these like little special variations. So if you if you know that you like a particular sauce from Infinity, there's a chance that he'll have a little kind of like one off from that. He he makes amazing sauces. Check it out. He's um John from Infinity has made, um, like, uh, he's he, how many years has he won here? Let's see. Since I mean, the beginning. <laughs> yeah, year one, year two. Let's see. Yeah, there's the Chipotle, the original Chipotle. He, he was out one year. He, he, oh he's yeah got, he's got four or five years of wins but the cool thing was is when he, he was judged. out he judged for yeah he him, came up amazing. and he he became a judge so yeah if you want to be a judge this year you can apply online yes you can. Uh, to, if you're not in the competition <laughs> yes <laughs> we don't gotta keep it fair um yeah so i was gonna say oh we had the barbecue sauce he did that one special barbecue sauce um that's oh yeah yes yeah. sauce it's called is it called sauce no i don't well, i think it is I don't want to buy it, know. but it is really good yeah. with our tri tips. So. Oh, and when we were down, nice and Sean and I weren't, but my wife and I, Pam, were down at his uh, his hot sauce festival, SoCal Hot Sauce Festival at Everywhere Brewery, and um, they actually made some sauces for the brewery that they have served there, and so I think we got a mustard, which mm -hmm. was awesome. I, I hope, John, you send it in this year. Uh, he had a mustard with... Um, we had it with the pretzels down there, mm, I think. Yeah. And it was just, just great. one of those mustards that you just go, that's the kind of mustard. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, anyways, so let's try this one. Barrel of ghost monkeys, vinegar, peaches, mustard, sugar, spices, salt, ghost pepper. Mm. So I think one of the things that I'm drawn to with Infinity is the use of peaches in the sauces. And I think that's because one of the first, I think it was year one we had a sauce that entered that had peach in it and it was like, I could not get enough of it. I like ordered well, it from, I think it was North Carolina. I went yeah, crazy. Well, that's fl Flashpoint. Um, no, no, no. It wasn't Flashpoint, but Flashpoint has a great one too. They have great, they have, but, um, Flashpoint has a uh, screen Banshee. And yeah. Got, that uh, one. Peach and Arrow. I went through. Oh, the one from Australia too. Um, that peach, one too. Pichango. Pichango. Yeah. So Pichango I, I went on this kick also where I would do pachango mix. Matt's hot shot. Yeah. Good memory. I would take pachango and I would take Infinity's Chipotle and I would like alternate them between each bite of whatever I was eating and my world was like completely different. <laughs> yeah, peaches. <So. laughs> peaches, like I've noticed a lot of orange uh, um, orange or orange juice and some too that are really good sauces. Mm -hmm. You know, you'll... you'll... Anyways. Mm, so you smell the peach... I get like a, not like an, I don't know what the spice mixture is that he does, but that's what also gets me. Aroma's good. Mm -hmm. I think oh. when he was at one of our hot summer night events where he was selling sauce, he had this one <laughs> white garlic sauce. Ooh. That was just blew me away. Um, he, he's a real adventurer when it comes to sauces. Mm -hmm. Um. Great guy, too. Always supported us. We support him. Let's see. Gosh darn it, that's so good. I know. <laughs> These were all really good today. You know, usually the sauces that enter Hot Summer Night are great sauces. I think this one would, go, today. would go medium, though. Really? Hmm. You think mild? It has more of a linger. Mild would not have that. Well, I think I have to try it 
next to this one just to see if it's hotter. Yeah. <laughs> Close. I can't, I can't go. I can't quite go medium with either of those. I don't think. Okay. This, but your taste buds are. No, I don't know. My taste buds are refined. Okay. The hot <laughs> sauces. We should pull pull our friend Gabby in here and see what she says. Mm -hmm. She has a very mild palate. Yeah, she would say that right. that's extra hot. <laughs> I guarantee you. Yeah, they're actually pretty close. Yeah, they are. In the heat. I think we, we got it about right now. Yeah. So what we're trying to do is just let you know the heat levels of these sauces and kind of compare and contrast them. Um, and we just kind of wing it. We do it by pulling out of the grab bag and just checking it out and guessing. But um, we, we're pretty accurate, I think, on our tastings mm -hmm. relative to where they land. Yeah. I, I, but the other thing that we've done is enough. when you hear us kind of debating like that between two different yeah. categories, that also goes to tell you how important it is to have a unique judging panel. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why we try to get as many judges as we can, actually. And, and we get like a, a big party for every every judging and you know i'm not going to guarantee you're going to have 15 or 20 judges on every one but you, you know we've had 15 at least judges on just about every one we've done yep. and um and it's just like you said everybody has their own taste in hot sauce mm -hmm. and that's why you can try every hot okay. sauce in the world and just be completely in bliss because there's, they're all different. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't get one that's exactly the same as another. And you get some that are just special. And they're just outstanding. And that's a discovery. Yeah. When you find the ones that just like scream at you, yeah. it changes everything. <laughs> I noticed uh, you're almost done with your omelet mm -hmm. there. And I'm not. So I'm going to just, I'm going to sit here. Sauces. I'm going to just go for it. But again, <laughs> I think uh, for this first round of, 2024 uh what an amazing round amazing sauce companies don't forget that you can enter your sauces today for a hot summer night 2024 we got some amazing trophies we get the best hot sauces from around the world in the competition if you can come in the top 10 in any one of our divisions you got a great sauce and don't forget you can also sign up a sauce and put it in like say you say a mild sauce and then you say i want it to be in the verde category or something yep. then put it in as a verde you're going to have to pay an extra 75 bucks because uh, we have to be able to purchase you know the awards and all the other stuff and but but do it and uh, you guys all have a fantastic week and we will see you next time see you next time thanks bye-bye